Hello everyone, today what we're doing is setting the time and date up for the 1080p video spy glasses. Now in order to set the time and date, first plug in the glasses to your computer. And I'm going to actually show you something quickly just to illustrate what we're doing. If you go down here and you type in my PC, or this PC also works, and navigate to the glasses, this is the memory in the glasses. Um, first of all, this is the file, I started, I made a recording before uh, showing you guys how to do this just to demonstrate. So it thinks it's 12-28-2014 at 2.35. And if I open it up, there's actually no time and date stamp on the file. And you'll know, and you'll see what I'm talking about when we create the second one, but there'll actually be like a time stamp that'll have the date and time stamped onto the video file as you're watching it. Um, but since it's not there, we need to set it up. So go to our website and navigate to the product and scroll down just below the pictures and you'll see a description tab and a support tab. First thing under the support tab is the quick start guide. The quick start guide is something that we hand wrote. It's a handwritten manual and it goes over how to charge a battery, how to recordings, everything's in here. But well, what we're looking for is down here. So you have year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, and then a YN at the end. So you can do Y or N. Um, that This part here is important because just as I showed you, it's not showing the actual time and date on the file as it's playing back. And we want that for evidence purposes. So um, out, of, you know, out of the factory, it comes with an N on the end. So we want to put the Y. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So um, go back to your actual glasses here. You want to make sure you're in the root directory. How you know you're in the root directory is, let me close out of this and show you again. Down here, type in this PC. And then under devices and drives, you'll see the 1080p spy glasses here. You know it's them because it, they have 16 gigabytes here. Double click. The very first window you come to, this is the root directory. If you're in here or in here, it's not gonna work. So you wanna make sure you're actually in the root directory. Once you're in the root directory, right click in any of this white space and go down to new and then click left click on text document. Don't worry about renaming it yet um, because we're gonna get to that in a second. But um, so just left click anywhere to, to, to unselect it. And then now we're gonna to wanna to edit it. So double click on it and it's gonna bring up the text document. Um, now all these products are different. So I'm gonna take a look here. It's year dash month dash day and then you got hour colon minute colon second yes so type it so i'm going to go 2018 dash like i said it's the 27th of september then space and it's 4 30 so that's 16 it's military time so 16 30 i don't know the seconds so let me click on my clock here it's 20 seconds 20 seconds and then go ahead and hit save it okay so now we want to rename it because the naming it is actually how the, the glasses identifies it so let's go back here to our quick start guide and you want to save it as time so let me go ahead and get back here right click on it and go down to rename and type in time and then just click on it anywhere, okay? So there you go. So now I'm gonna pause the recording um, and and do a recording on the glasses. And it's really important that you actually do this very quickly because the time and date that you write here, so like right now it says it's 4.30, 20 seconds, which I'm already a minute off, um, is the time that it's gonna imprint in the glasses. So if you do make this file and then don't make a recording for an hour or two, whenever you come back, it's gonna have whatever time is here. So let me go ahead and start a recording real quick.
Okay, so now that I've done a recording, um, let's go back to the glasses, or... Okay, so now that I've started a recording... Okay, so now that I've done a recording, let's go back to the glasses. Again, go down here to the bottom left, click on it, and just type in this PC. You'll see it here again, double click. Now I can already tell you that it worked. The reason I know is because the time file that we made right here, it's disappeared. And that's what it's supposed to do, because what happens is whenever the, the glasses click on the recording, if it sees a file in here called time, then what it does is it updates the time to whatever whatever's in the file. So I already know it worked, but let's go ahead and, and show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's get back to the recording. So you can see I actually took a couple pictures and I even did a, a couple of videos here. So let me start a bit this Rick video. And there you go. So what you see down here is the time and date stamp. So we had 2018, September 27th. And then four, or I'm sorry, that's 431 and then 14 seconds. So um, there you go. And then if I want to delete these files and kind of start fresh, I can either just left click on one to highlight it and then hit the delete key and then confirm my deletion. Or if I want to delete a lot of stuff, I can just hold my left mouse button, highlight a bunch, so click and drag, and then delete a bunch of items all at once. That way I don't have to do it individually.